Welcome back to the Legends 9 Hole Cup Expert Division, hole number 8. I'm going to start by saying this is a tough drop with a tough wind. Uh, I've got some tweaks here for you. They were working for me, uh, but they may depend on your pull angle and wind strength and, and other factors. So this is a tough drop, a little bit harder to get. When you, If you want to drop it, you may want to practice this one a few times. Uh, in fact, this right here is a miss, um, because I did just a little too much overpower on this shot. I should have did, uh, just before circle drop OP, I did circle drop OP, and I missed this one just left. But, good opportunity, tough shot, let's go through it. So, it is one right spin, 3.2 backspin, uh, favor 3.3 over 3.2. One okay at complete p3 min you want to have your ball guide going through the center of the cup the elevation is p4 minus 10 min numbers right p4 minus 10 min all right so when i get lined up i'm going to snap a picture and i'm going to kind of go over the tweaks that i have so far that have worked for me so this angle here where I'm pointing at this green bush here, that is what I'm calling the neutral angle, okay? So if I'm anywhere in that bush that's neutral, what I'm playing there is circle drop OP for winds 7 miles an hour and above. And for winds below 7 miles an hour, I'm doing just before circle drop OP. That's where I messed up on this particular shot. I did circle drop instead of just before circle drop, okay? Now, if you are just right of that bush, say between these two bushes, I'm calling that the crosswind angle. That one needs two clicks of overpower, four clicks of right curl. If you're way over here into this bush, I'm calling that the extreme crosswind angle. That one doesn't need any overpower, but it does need six clicks of right curl. Now, if you've got a heavy wind over seven, you might want to do seven or eight clicks of curl, right? So, this is the extreme crosswind angle. No overpower. Six to eight clicks of right curl. This one right here is just the crosswind angle. That's two clicks of overpower, four clicks of right curl. This one here is the only way you do, it's going to be circle drop, no curl, circle drop, or just before circle drop. So winds below seven is going to be just before circle drop. Winds seven plus will be uh, circle drop OP no curl and if you're left of that bush which i have been i'm calling that the headwind angle that one needs three clicks of right curl maybe four and circle drop o op all right so this one here three to four clicks of right curl and circle drop op no matter what your wind is so one more time Far left, three clicks of right curl plus circle drop OP in the green bush here. No curl, winds below seven, just before circle drop OP, winds seven plus, circle drop OP. You're just right of that bush here. Then that one needs two clicks of overpower, four clicks of right curl. If you're way over here to the right, that one needs no overpower, six to eight clicks of right curl, depending on your wind, right? Six with a low wind, eight clicks with a higher wind. And now you see why I say this is a tough drop. Um, I have dropped it several times, but it's not an easy one. And I did miss this one because I did circle drop instead of just before circle drop. But... It'll give you an idea of what I'm doing. Honestly, you kind of hope to be in that green bush there. That was the most consistent drop that I had, that wind angle. 
And if you look here, I did circle drop OP when I was supposed to do just before circle drop OP. No curl. You'll see I'll, I'll miss this one just a little long and a little left. If that lands a click lower, it goes in the hole. So just a little bit less OP. That with the lower wind there, if I would have done just before circle drop, I believe that would have been in the cup. So tough drop. But if you're able to understand and follow this and have time to do it, then uh, you got an opportunity here at a drop. What I have been doing, I know I, for this shot, I had a P3 side spin one wind four ball, which is ideal for this shot. Not everybody's going to have that. So what I had been doing previous to this account is I've been setting up with a Marlin or a Navigator. Uh, adding my one left spin, my 3.2 back spin, then switching to my King Slayer, then setting up, okay? I have not tested this with any other balls besides a King Slayer. So Wind 4 is the only thing I've got tested on this hole. But if you're lucky, with a little bit of practice and the right tweaks, might get a drop here. Good luck. Hope to see you on the next one.